Hello, welcome back to the chat. I'm Liam White. I'm Jamie Allen. And I'm Megan Bain. Firstly, Megan, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. No worries. Now, normally we start most of these podcasts with either a late apology or just an apology. This week we're just going to... Basically, after careful consideration, it's both me and Jamie's fault, so... <laughs> yep, yep. Well, well I mean... I mean, Liam's just going to take the L on this one, but he's not... Yeah, aye, ah, sure. Okay, we'll we'll move on swiftly. Swiftly move on. Hopefully, he gets a fucking swift jab to the face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get into it, Megan, I want to put a big letter of complaint through the internet on a podcast <laughs> to say, fuck you, Sterling Council, and your shitty road. It's November the whatever, and you're doing roadworks now. It's Christmas, there's Christmas lights up, there's people Christmas shopping, there's people coming off work, there's people driving around Sterling, and you. Oh my god, it took me an hour and a half to get back from fucking eh, college. Eh, 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 eh. It took us an oh, hour sorry, and a half yeah, to get I, home. I, was... I, I suffered through it too, you know. I'm, like... I'm going to put my input in here, it took me ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from totally not illegal driving, Jamie. Where is it? I don't illegally drive. No. I don't illegally drive. On record, on record. On record. On record. Um, you know. It's fine though, you know a do- dodgy judge, so I mean, you know, easy uh, way around that. Yeah, it's all very, good Very, very true. <laughs> I mean, no, um, aye. <laughs> <laughs> it took me, it took me ten minutes to get here, driving on them um, the the illegal, no, no, the legal American side of the road. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, so it's legal and. To be know, fair, yeah, if we were across the pond, then you know it'd be fine. Exactly. So across the pond. I mean, my judge would back me up on a seminar. <laughs> yeah, you probably would by the sound of what you've told me. Well, exactly. Um. Anyway, we'll push aside Stone Council and I want to avoid, yeah, thanks for putting that, I want to avoid those roads as much as possible now for the rest of my life. Firstly, Megan, who are you? I'm, I'm alright, suffering from a cold, but apart from that, I'll, I'll, you know, power through. You prepared for an hour and a bit of grilling from me and Jamie? Absolutely not. I mean, this is like the most intense podcast ever, like, people fear coming up to the show. That's why if I know big celebrities, they're just actually that terrified I mean, about being idea. on the show from us. Blackmailed into yeah. being here, honestly. Well, I mean, that, that's Liam's, that's Liam's <laughs> side of business, you know. I turn up and... Chat shit. He, he and you're very good at it, mate. <laughs> he, he, he blackmails. He does all that side of the business. Um, yeah. Well, no, but basically, over the past, I'd say, two weeks, I've been getting a lot of complaints from college folk in particular saying, like, Liam, you know, there's a lack of female guests on, you know, Liam, you're not getting anyone from college. So, you know, I'm rectifying my totally problems. <laughs> You picked a bad choice. What the fuck are you going against me for? We're going to be on this together. <laughs> Good, but I mean, he, look what he's done. He's brought another female guest in. Exactly. He's done Equality and shit. Equality. Aye. Yeah, basically. So, I'm going to start where I start with everyone else making. Oh, what is your earliest memory? Oh, God, not good ones. Um, That's good. Most of them haven't been so far. <laughs> Actually, one of my earliest vivid memories is um, going, well, coming back from Ireland. I remember I was. Poor you. I know, right? Um, bless me, Keelan, he means well. Um, no, I was, we were on a ferry, and um, I just remember I was really young, obsessed with tango. And um, there was like this wee kind of like. Tango the drink or tango the dance? <laughs> a little bit of both, but no, definitely the drink. Um, <laughs> And there was a, a big kind of like soft toy play area at the side of, not at the side of the boat, but you know, with, within the boat. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we were we were within that section and we mom were playing about and then all the lights in um, Ireland went out, like there was a power cut. Across the whole <laughs> of Ireland. And I was like, <laughs> that oh one my God, went I was out. like, Ireland's gone. <laughs> and that's my earliest memory. <laughs> Ireland disappeared. To be fair, it's better than most. Ireland actually disappeared in front of your eyes as a play do so on. What are you doing you though? I was about three, I think. Three. So, you know. We still yet to get someone that's had like an early memory younger than three. I want to see like what the youngest I, I, I is. I need to check. I might have been two if I'm if we're going for the record, but no, I, I think... <laughs> I like it now, I mean something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's not competition. Me. Oh, well, we're going to make it one. <laughs> that's fine the competition side comes later on in this. oh god here right. we go <laughs> that's fine you got you got a wee bit of fine you get you get the chill time now you know you get time to relax and then right then bang we hit you with the difficult stuff oh god here we go <laughs> right. so whereabouts did you grow up then 
Oh, well, I've been stuck in Cumbria and Old all my life. So, uh, yeah, I've, I lived in uh, <laughs> North Cumbria, you know, haven't been stabbed yet, so that's always a plus. Um, <laughs> haven't ever moved house, uh, always been stuck in that one spot. Across from the Tesco, lovely little place. Um, yeah. No. I know a place somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, I've always been in Cumbria and Old all my life. What's it? What's it like growing up in? Coming out of the town, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Is it a district? I mean, I was going to say city, but like, it's, is no, it a town? No, it's, yeah. it's not. A, it's not a city. It's, it's a town. Yeah. Uh, it's like the waste man part of Glasgow. Aye, it's actually <laughs> it's a dressed up garbles, really. <laughs> yeah. So what's it like though? What's it like growing up? There couldn't have been much to do. No, there wasn't really. I mean, my neighbours, my neighbours are quite, you know, unusual. I have a I have lovely neighbours to my left and right. I love them very much. But across the road, not so much. You know, you've got uh drug dealers. You got uh, <laughs> you got families that breed like rabbits. You got uh, no, it's <laughs> but to be fair, rabbits to... smuggling cocaine. That's a common one. <laughs> Classic. Um, or maybe they use the rabbits to test the merch first. That's probably it. That's what yeah. I would do. Yeah. I know that I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> No, that I know any of it. His judge would sort of agree, but you know. <laughs> if you were, if I were in that situation, I'd be using the rabbits as my bunnies. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> yeah, human life matter, you know. <laughs> All lives that matter. Is, nah, not the rabbits in that situation. <laughs> to be fair, they're probably having a great time for about ten minutes before the hearts explode in the floor. But <laughs> very true. <laughs> very true. Very true. It's a good final ten minutes you'd get out of that. That's that's no far away from the time capsule, isn't it? Oh, that's very far away from the time capsule. Is that? It's, What's the time it's capsule? It's very so that's the uh, the fancy swimming pool for the working class. Um, the fancy swimming pool for the working class. <laughs> I've been there a couple of times. I'm definitely going to say that. <laughs> What, what would you, you say? Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, before going to that, right, let's hear your side from, from it, Megan. No, I mean, it's, it's Describe lovely. it. Uh, so, it's it's an Airdrie way. That's that's where Time Capsule is. So, it's, um, I always remember it for its its big uh, water slides coming out of the building and stuff. But um, it's a massive, like, it had a massive swimming pool and it had an ice rink. And it might have other facilities, but it's mainly used for the swimming and the ice skating from what I remember. See now I'm imagining the sort of like posh upper class place like you'd find in Glasgow with all these centres yeah. <laughs> right Jamie how would you describe the time capsule? Shithole. I mean like it's a, it's a dressed up peak it's a dressed up peak it's a peak it's not it's shit a, it's a peak that's um, put on a probably a £200 dress <laughs> £200 um, a bit and it's, and it's, hit, it's hit the foo bar Pretty shit, if you ask me. I mean, it's got slides. That's why I said the working class. Like. It's got a wave machine. It's. It's got it's, a wave machine. Doesn't sound too bad. It's. it's, right. it's, it's you're it's, still not like selling. Yeah. Did he bash on it because it's, it's probably got... the best pool I've been to. I'll get that. <laughs> I've been to purple. Um, <laughs> oh. Aye, purple's competition. Oh. Tough but ones. It's a pain in the ass to get to purple. But it's it's yeah. What you're Sorry. thinking of is a triest, and a triest is even worse. <laughs> It's literally a swimming pool and a gym and a couple of tennis courts and that's it. See, it's, you're so described that to me. That doesn't sound too bad. That's I know, but it's in, in Cabrain. It's in Cabrain. Like, the moment you leave the gym, you get stabbed. Wow. Well. Yeah, well, it's a risk. Well, <laughs> that, to be that, fair, that can not, that's what you go to the gym for and you run fast. And then that's once you get out, true. then you're fit enough to run away it's from a, It's a good warm-up, yeah, definitely. <laughs> So apart from getting stabbed and getting, you know, swimming around swimming pools, what else is there to do in the famous Cumberland? Well, there's the, the classic Antonine Centre, so it was... was sorry, I don't know the area <laughs> too, I guess. Was going to repeat that? The Antonine Centre. Right. <laughs> the, the classic. <laughs> Which is Spandai, <laughs> tell us more. So, uh, no, it's just, um, it's a really sad collection of shops. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, so it's your cover of the thistle set. That's right? exactly right. what it is. Anyway, we'll start that again. Makers want to go, go tell us. <laughs> I, like, um, pr- pretend that you're the tourist board right. for cover of Sell that shit to us. Uh, okay, so... It originally was that. That's basically how Comfort all started. It was like, do you know what we need? A town centre. Oh, now we're a town. That's how it works. Is it got? Is it got a HMV? No. Oh, fuck sake. Uh, it's messing right. Has <laughs> it got a super drug? Yes. Right, it's in a big thing. There we go. See. <laughs> if it's got a super drug, it's and it's got a beer right next to it. No, it's too far. I mean, <laughs> I mean, 
B and M is uh, literally that shop now for like all the sort of shops, go to. Our, our shop does. Our shops in that area describe the people who live there. Let me explain. Right, there's a Spoons right next to a B and M, right next to Home Bargains, right next to Poundland. Like, Sounds like my kind of place. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like, just, I gotta do my shop and I'm going to the pub. It's really yeah. everything you want in the it's city, great. isn't it? Yeah, and then if you just like take a really like five minute walk down, you've got New Look and Super Drug, and then you got oh, yes. Yeah, 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 this is the only official centre. Well, I tell a lie, it's not got EE in it, has it? No, no, it doesn't. That's <laughs> type one of these things. I'm going for another four more. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. It does have a three, though. <laughs> 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 What an actual man is that you put off going there now? Jesus Christ, I said sell it to me, no fucking make more experience. <laughs> Jesus. I tried. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so like, did your, did your childhood consist of growing up around these shit shops then for enjoyment? Yeah, I mean, like, that wasn't really something I did when I was like, young, young. What I did was, when I was like, primary school age, I'd just stay in and do puzzles. I was intelligent when I was young. I know you wouldn't believe it, but honestly. And so I would stay in and I would do puzzles and I'd study astronomy and it was all really cool. And then at high school, and you were like, you had to socialise. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to socialise. I live in Cumberland Falls. <laughs> so, That's true. <laughs> so I was, to be fair, get your experience, go on a bus and speak to a junkie, you know. I can't get it worse. Oh, it's bad. But I was like, okay, I know what I can do let's just go to the town centre but there's nothing to do at the town centre so you just literally walk up and down it and I didn't I didn't stop me and my mates before like just before the age of drinking like who used to <laughs> just go there and then the age of drinking character and then you know there down. used to be there used to be an ice cream parlour that's where all the cool kids went <laughs> they were like I'm it gonna... sounds like an 80s American <laughs> movie like it legit it was laid out like at, like an 80s diner and it was like you walked in and it had like those like the shaved ice cream and like the ice cream rolls and you'd go in and you'd, if you knew them well enough you could be like I'll have the usual and they'd be like oh it's the cool kids yeah Cumberland's not cool <laughs> You're doing quite well to sell to me. I mean, I was ready to fucking grab my keys and go. Uh, <laughs> then I the traffic the, was. Then I the traffic. Like, not today with the fact that it's come on old. <laughs> not today with that. So, what was your. So, um, were you an only child or brothers and sisters? I, I was for seven and a half years. Were they the happiest seven and a half years of your life? No, I actually asked my mum and dad for a brother. <laughs> Christ, and they gave you one like that. That's, that's some Christmas <laughs> present that they dished out for you. They, um, no. let, let, let's be clear here, you did get a brother. I did, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that would have been relative. He was wrapped up underneath the tree for Christmas. <laughs> I want a brother and you end up with a sister, it's always a worst. <laughs> but mum, I, I asked for a brother. Try again, come on. <laughs> No, because, um, yeah, like, I asked for, I, I would always, like, at the end of the day, because my family are Christian, and so, uh, Catholic as well, so, like, we, we would always, like, say every prayers at the end of the night, and she was like, do you have a, a special prayer for anyone? And it's usually for someone who's, like, sick in the family or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, everyone was dead healthy this year, and I, and I was like, do you know what? I want a wee brother. <laughs> and, and she just kind of looked at me like, what? Where, where did this come from? And I was like, I don't know, I think it'd be nice to have a brother. And then, you know, about a year later, I was like, oh, I have a brother! And, and yeah, it kind of, I love him to bits, though. Everyone's like, oh, it's it's weird that you guys don't fight. I'm like, oh, we do. We just don't fight as much as, like, normal siblings do. Yeah, no, like, that's the thing I was going to say. With the way you describe your, like, relationship with your brother, it seems, like, very different to the average, like... Yeah. Brother, like sibling relationships that I hear about like na- basically they fight by the sense of it yeah I mean it's it's unusual because I have like I think we just kind of like I, I, I love them to bits and so like if there's ever any trouble at school or whatever I'm like oh do you want do you want to talk about it and he, he's fine about it and if he's uh, we also did taekwondo together so he like we practiced fighting together mm. people are like why don't you like fight just because you're siblings? And I'm like, no, we practice sparring. <laughs> so to be yeah. fair, it'd be a so good way to get attention. Then you can have the excuse of like mum or dad come in and like say like why you <laughs> well, fight. Oh, it's just practice. That's the worst part of it though because we're like, doing UFC now. <laughs> <laughs> we we can't we can't like hit each other because like that's. 
pretty much illegal. Like, uh, because I'm a black belt, I can't like hit anyone unless I'm uh, unless provoked. And so, like, if Jack hits me, I I, I just kind of have to go. You know better. <laughs> you're a blue belt. Come on. <laughs> to be fair, it's not like your brother's gonna go like down the police and just say, like, "Yeah, <laughs> that black belt just fucking whacked me a scalper." You need to get her arrested. Nah, we're, we're cool. We watch films together. We were watching Arrow the other night. We had popcorn and it was great. We had pillow fort. Yeah, we're good. You think then, like, like I take you're not envious at all then of anyone else's like sibling relationships. Not that I've heard of. I've heard of a few horror stories, and it makes you appreciate how how good Jack is. But saying that, he's hitting those like pre teenagers where he's like getting sassy, and you're like, "Come on, Jack." <laughs> Jamie knows all about that problem you... at the moment. Oh, now, now. we dick our sister. <laughs> <laughs> See, like we've got two opposite ends of the spectrum <laughs> sitting next to each other. We dick. <laughs> Hey, what, what did she do? Just a wee dick. <laughs> to be fair, right, I've only met her twice and, you know, she doesn't give herself a week too what's, well. What's, what's the one word you would give to her? Well, annoying would be the main <laughs> one. I mean, like, not in a bad way. Like, I don't even know her, like, too well, so I can't really comment. It's more the fact of whenever we're playing club, she always feels the need to FaceTime you and end the phone call between <laughs> us every single time without she failure. as a, a nippy wee gun, to say the least. <laughs> well, what what age mean, is she? Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> fair, fair team. Oh. oh right, okay. Jack's like eleven. So. Well, yeah. I'm mid teens and it's fucking hell you want to kill her. <laughs> I mean he's doing all right. Like we we went to Comic Con together and like that that was so nice. Like everyone was so happy about that. But like I honestly like the worst time that he's like any kind of like annoying I suppose is like when he knows that he's wrong, but like he's too late to give up in the argument. Uh, yeah. So, you oh, know, but that's about it. It's not it. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I, I even dread taking her to the shop next door to me. Never mind the Comic Con. <laughs> Fuck that. Will you take me to the shop? It's around the corner. Fuck off yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck Is that. she really that bad? What? I mean, oh, like, she doesn't, yeah. like. I mean, like, when I first met her, I was like, what age would I have been when I first met her? Like, what was the first time I went to your house? Like, when I was, like, 13 or something? 14? Go, aye, go with that, aye. Aye, nah. Like, she, but she was at that stage of just, like, you know, she wants to play with you and me, so I think now she's just at the stage of just wanting to annoy you. And oh, she, oh, oh. <laughs> like, it's worse now. Like, oh, aye. Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> the visuals make it so much better. Like, You're missing out, audience. <laughs> so bad. Like, so bad. It's unbelievable. If there's one thing she'd change about her, what would it be? Oh, just replace her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's right, that's on the she internet forever. <laughs> so cheeky. You just want to go. Home I, mean, to I mean, not even to point any fingers here, but you don't think she's getting it from you, do you? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm never cheeky. I don't know. Never? Never. never. I mean, I was cheeky at school, don't get me wrong. I spoke back to the teachers. Mm. But she doesn't. She's not like that. She's she's brilliant at school. Oh, she like station. Like, like, she's quality at school. That's good. As soon as she comes out, what a cow! <laughs> like well, that's the thing though. Uh, like I mean, you're spending six hours putting on like a persona, but like you're trying to be good and like do your best. I mean, once you come out, you want to just relax like, and think about. We've got a parrot that talks to. <laughs> I've got a parrot. <laughs> she, could, she could walk into the living room and talk to the parrot. That. Be cheeky to him. Oh, she says he's me cheeky me, and I, I, it's not even as I don't even bite back, you know. It's even if she comes in and she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, I didn't bite back. No, 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 no. I ignore her. She maintains on fucking. Unless she's like, fucking into her face. Whereas, whereas the parrot like, would probably nip back at her, <laughs> tell her to shut up or something. I don't even get that. I don't fucking pay so much money just to see a parrot just to tell your sister just to shut up and fuck off. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we'll move on because I'm getting a bit angry. <laughs> so then, Megan, what was school like then? So, what school did you go to primary first? Oh, so I went to St Margaret's, which is just down a hill from where I live. And I'm totally giving away my address. Nobody stop me, please. Um, but yeah, like I, I went to St Margaret's, and that was really cool. I mean, it was a really nice school. I think, again, it's like after speaking to people, you realise like how lucky you were to go to such a nice school where people cared. Um, but it, not it, as much other schools then. No, because like I've, I've heard about like especially coming from like Cumbria, you expect it to be a bad school, but like it's like you do. 
but like no it was like a really good school and like teachers actually cared and like oh it's just it was a really nice environment until you get to like p7 and that's you prepping for high school and it's just oh but apart from that like i, I still keep in touch with some of my primary school teachers they're so lovely really? yeah yeah oh. super nice do you ever wish, like, Jamie, that you'd ever kept up with any of your teachers? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> not one? Aye, Mr. Clark, he was a... He, he helped me. Aye, fair enough. Besides that, the rest of them are cogs. <laughs> Aye, right, okay. So, high school then? High school. So, high school was a hell of a time. I hell went to a, our ladies. It was either going to be... That's Sunday in life at high school. <laughs> right. Because, like, I, I went to a Catholic primary school and I had a Catholic high school. And so Our ladies was like, could you get any more pretentious so wait, what, about your religion? What, what religion are you? Catholic. Okay. Right. I thought you said Christian. Well, you, you Catholic, Christ, like, Catholic Christian. Catholic Christian. It's, have, like, it's some, like a drop-down menu. It's, like, it, yeah, Christian it's like, it's like the drop-down menu from it. It's, it's, it's more okay. specific, that's all. <laughs> well, it's, it's basically around four quarters, so like, you know, I'm that one. Oh, yeah, I'm that one. Don't I get, you? I get bread all the time. Don't even dare put me in the general category. I'm that <laughs> one. I'm specifically that one. Right. Okay. Anyway, I'm not that pretentious about it. But um, yeah, so like we went to Our Ladies and yeah, no, it was it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. It was Describe cool. why. What was so bad about people, it? People, people make it bad. So bad. Because, like, I was so used to... Teachers, pupils, both. Pupils. Oh, God, the pupils. Oh, was it full of what? Was it full of girls? No. Oh, is it, oh, is it not? <laughs> oh, I thought... Oh, because you said our lady. I presumed it was, like, a no, lasses school. No, that's, that's right. the first thing that people... Uh, I, I totally forget, like, because, it's, like, it's... My well, I mean, that's why I asked the question, because I didn't... I, I, I'm, I'm actually like, being a guy, though, and just, like, if someone says, yo, what school are you going to? Oh, our ladies. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I get Well, you could, be, you could act like a big man there. Aye. Right. Oh, uh, Just the ladies, yeah. We go to our ladies, mate. <laughs> I mean, I'm never ever going to be every lunch time, but oh no, because <laughs> like our ladies is like no, it's 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 like Mixed. oh yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, like it was, oh, it was just bad. The, it, I mean, it was a mix of six primary schools, and so it's a lot actually. Yeah, how much was on high four? We got we got Brayhead, we got Sydney, we got Boston. Oh. So not, no, Alan's as well came to us. Oh, Alan, yeah, should I? Yeah, four. so four, yeah. yeah. And six yeah. went to you. Yeah, yeah. so we had... Oh, God. What was your, like... How big is this? Yeah, what was your oh, attendance? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like that. It was it was reasonably big. We had a... Like, our building was a listed building, so we couldn't <laughs> have it refurbished. We couldn't have it, like, done up. We couldn't get a new school. It was all just, like, really oh. old architecture and, like... Nice. A shite old school. Yeah, it was bad, right? So... It, like it, there was about two buildings right but it, they were like held together by like an extension and yeah it was, it was bad but and duct tape and duct tape yeah <laughs> and tears the, the yeah wow. yeah I know right have they, have I mean they, you're saying that we didn't leave school that long ago <laughs> I know it was at least a couple of years ago wasn't it? Ah, yeah, two years now. two two I'm a wee baby I'm I mean you say a wee baby like you know. I know, but fuck it. Oh Jesus Christ! Next year you have left school five years ago. Oh my God! Oh, oh, us? Hey, you? Oh me? I, yeah, I. I I left school five years ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, that's bad. Eh? I'm so, only nineteen, but it's a very feel old. But whenever you hear like that, no, no, no. I work with two forty-year-olds. No. A thirty, a thirty-year-old. I'm, I'm fine. Fair enough. I'm yeah. balling, 19 year old. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Young blood. <laughs> see, I was like the youngest in high school as well. Yeah. So, like, I, I suppose like people would leave. Like, even at prom, like, prom, people could, like, go buy drinks and I'm there. Like, no, no, I just. How got, old are you now? I'm 18 now, so. Hmm. Yeah. So. Are you below? What? Were you the year below us? No, 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 she was in there, yeah. Just younger. Yeah, like, because yeah, I younger, just got yeah. in because I'm a February baby, so, like, it was yeah. just. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Um, so yeah. So what, apart from like high school, so like you know, what was wrong with people? Just all I just, I just remember. I I remember, like you know how when guys were just sorry guys, we're gonna we're gonna just like I, hurt we your do feelings. not. One thing on this podcast, we do not accept the sex of them. I get a woman <laughs> on, and this is what happens. This is how we get. I'm treated. sorry. Okay, how about this? How about this? Right? Comment down below <laughs> if your school is like this, but um, like. Men would always men. Boys would always um like just like do young adults how for thirty years. No, boys, um 
boys would always just like go about the corridors like D- did they ever do like the girl running thing and they would just like run down halls doing that and you're like why are you doing that wait what like they, like guys would just run down corridors and try and make sounds like girls moaning and like you were like why well like oh like while you're in classes yeah and, but, like no, maybe once or twice no, oh, right, like no. this was wait, like I'm sorry like, like, <laughs> like so like a class is on right and then like all you hear like it's dead silence and like while the teacher's like teacher like your rain's on down and that and then you hear like some boy just like running past like giving off sex noises <gasps> That. Not once did that happen to me. What? Not once. No. I think that happened like maybe no. twice. Never in my life. I think I was like, I mean, but you know of it happening. Yeah. I, I mean, I've, I, like, I now know of it happening. That, that's that. the background I mean, noise to our ladies high. <laughs> I mean, the extent of Evels was, nah, bogeys. Really? <laughs> oh. oh, God. It's so <laughs> oh, God. Of mass. The time, the time we had a sub teacher in mass, right? Mr. Clark was away. <laughs> we had a sub teacher. We had a we had another class, so another group of mongos. We had a class. <laughs> we had a big class, it. probably about thirty people in it uh, for mass. So we I can't even imagine. They said they were very high school kids. We yeah. dealt with noise, and we were like, I started all off as you do. <laughs> a wee mongos. <laughs> Everybody else followed in. Got to the point where I got kicked out. Uh, <laughs> I was I was a hot Did you win though? though? I won, but I was, uh, like, like, yeah. I was, I was, I was who, who cares though if you got chucked out? You know, like you know, if you win, that's important. You know, my excuse was, you know, he said it. I just said it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that was, apparently, that I was it. I was just saw sort because of, me and Jamie were in the same form class. Me and like that retarded shit like this would always happen <laughs> from like first to. Like, I mean, first to, like, in fact, first to fourth year, because I was in actually some class of all day time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. So apart from that, then for other problems that I have. Oh, I mean, was it okay. Oh yeah, so much, so much. I mean, that was one of the main reasons why I started Taekwondo. It was like, well, one, I was quite a big kid, and so I was like, I should probably go do some exercise. And so I found this little club called Excess, and I was like, oh, that's. Is this done in the school or out with? No, the this school? was this was out with, but okay. uh, they did do a demonstration at my old primary school, for, like at, at a gala day. Uh-huh. So I was like, oh, they're they're cool. I'll take a flyer, and then. Um, and then after like years of just like bullying, I was like, nah, nah, we're we're gonna learn some self defense. So, <laughs> so I I went to like the the new town hall because we've got a town hall. Not even <laughs> not even a town hall, a new town a hall. New town hall <laughs> means there was once a previous one. <laughs> it's is it like a solid you know twelve years old, but you know it's still oh, new. Where uh, the fuck's it? The new town hall. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't say, like you don't see where a twelve-year-old walks into. Oh, look, it's the new kid, do you? I, I don't know. It's like it's like the way where like if you have a a, a church, like you have like oh, this is an airdrie, you'll have like well wind and then you'll have new well wind. It's just like yeah, sure, it's like thirty years old, but it's new well wind. It's just yeah, new. That is new to an extent. It's new. Yeah. New are well, why? Do, uh, right, yeah. I, I don't know. See how do it was falling high. We get we get called the new falling high all the time. No, not anymore. They don't. Oh, no. no. Oh, we do. Oh, like, uh, we're talking about, like, the folk, oh, though, they were two oh, years old than us, so they went to the old school. No, 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 no. Like, who are you talking about like, still calls it a new song, hey? Like, if I get customers in whose kids went to the old song, hey? Oh, right. Oh, I'm talking severe measures of stating that that was the old, the old <laughs> school. I, my son went to the old song, hey? Really? Did he, I? Don't give a fuck. <laughs> We went to the old Son High once for like a open day. It was fucking shit. I'm glad we went to the new one. The I new one's so. One. Oh no, it was honest to fuck. It was so horrendous. See, when I went to the high school, was it still there? Was it? See, when we went to Stolen High, yeah. was the old Stolen High still It was in the middle again, no, but it wasn't really there still. Okay, because I never once saw it. Alright, no, we went in there once for like. Well, no, we went there twice rather. We went in there for like a sports day thing once, and then we went there another time for like. It was basically them doing like a science demonstration when yeah. we were in like primary. Well, when was it not doing? When I was in primary five. Oh, you went, was... did you watch the names? Ah, that's how we got to see. Well, you got Cam's band playing at your show as well, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, five. So five. Ha! See, it's uh, see, six yeah, skills yeah, isn't yeah. that weird. No, no, I just sounded like a lot of first. Yeah, really think it was. Was it? The Gargonic have a primary school. I don't know. They just have mutants as people. <laughs> Well, they did have a primary school, and I'm pretty sure they did. So we had. Aye, yeah, there. it's for all the potatoes that they farm. <laughs> See, I told you, man. It's like, it's average. So, like, was taekwondo a big part of your life? Oh then? yeah, yeah. I spent like six years doing that, 
I mean, I want to get back into it, but I, I just haven't had time. That's my excuse, anyway. We'll um, get to college later on, don't worry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I, I started, I think I started in the middle of first year doing Taekwondo. And it, it was cool. Like, it, I tended to do, like, gradings, which is, like, you're getting your new belt yeah, every few taekwondo, months. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, right, how far did you get it? Oh, no, I quit after a year. Can we go on? Oh, <laughs> right, <laughs> I only got to yellow or something. That's, yeah, that's nothing not to worry bad. about sitting and chatting fans. He is not quitter. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Do not, do not worry. It will, the show will go on even without him. I'll, I'll listen, do it. Listen, listen come on. Come on. This, to be fair to like you and me, this is like the most we've stuck in it something for like... I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, if anything, you always quit on, him, quit on me. All the time. What? Right. Right. Well, oh, right. Sorry, right. Oh, here we go. Our domestics here we get go. settled here, right? I'll, right. I'll refer to one, one, one sole thing, right? Oh. Pro clubs. Right? We started a name that oh, shall not be named for racism reasons. <laughs> Liam's you, choice. You really have to say. Right? <laughs> Don't fucking throw me right. under right. the bus. What, like what I will say is, we played on a regular, on and off, yeah. weekly. Till this man here gave up. <laughs> Up. One, I would put it down to him being absolutely shit at the game. However, he would disagree. Alright, no. Anyway. No, no, do you want, no, do you want, right, no. No, 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 end it here, right? We, we're seeing this for right now. Megan's here right now. We're going to settle this the next week when it's just you and me, and I'm going to fucking blow your tits off this. I'm going on my own thief, fucking. Then he's, then he's, then he's quitting again. Quitting again, you right, see. But, but, but lads, lads, lads. Just get me on next time and I'll adjudicate this argument. No, okay. no, no, I'm fucking winning. It doesn't need adjudicate. He'll be fucking knocked out of the game. Alright, I just got fucking pushed back next, then. <laughs> the, reason, the reason he'll win next week is because you're not here. And, and, yeah. you know, my side of the story will be absolutely spot on. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, it's that's a good one, Jamie. That's his territory. Um, I've got a lot of one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, of course, oh, for pride, for uh, pride. Uh, no, no, do you want... No, but, we'll, but we'll move <laughs> on. We've got a guest, Liam. Right. So we won't consider it. Okay, we'll so move on. Rewind, right? Ba- back to halfway through first year, I- I'm starting to do my belts. So every <laughs> guys, keep it clean, right? Uh, every three months, I was kind of jumping up a belt, and I started oh. when I was like not considered an adult. Uh, like at sixteen, you kind of become an adult. So um, I-, I started like doing younger belts, and then I because th- I was like so much bigger than the other kids. I was like, can I just join the adults class? And I was like 13, 14, they were like, yeah. So I joined the adults club and then it was like so much harder to grade. And I think that's why I've become like such a good fighter because I was like, I was like 14 yeah, and fighting 50 year olds and like like buff 50 year olds and I'm like, oh God. So Did you ever get hurt really badly from that? Um, I, I've hurt some people real bad, but I don't think I've ever, oh, that's a lie. I remember one of my first competitions was, it was a Scottish competition. And, uh, Back when you were next one, yeah? Uh, no, really, no. I was too nervous when I was a young belt. I think when I was, like, a blue stripe must have been my first competition. So, about halfway, you know, to a black belt. Uh, but still, like, re- really far away. Uh, like, maybe, like, two or three years away from getting my black belt. Uh, so, that was my first competition. And there wasn't many people in my category and so they had to bring in people from higher belts to start sparring me and uh, I wasn't good at sparring um, I just kind of ran away from people and hoped for the best but um, there was this girl who's a blue belt red stripe and she was relentless and so we, we started sparring and I was just kind of like punching her like the same oh, oh she was like she must have been like 17 she's like yes I need a fucking death for you I need to assert the dominance here I was because like I'd recognised her like she she seems to be one of these girls who like does competitions regularly so I was like oh that's fine whatever she'll be nice and she was really nice like because like once you're off fighting like you're all best pals but like before you go on you're like oh my god she's gonna kill me (laughs) so I was like okay that's fine I'll just like I I had like shin guards I had my my foam hat on I had my gloves my my shoes on uh, didn't have like like a body plate though like if I get punched in the ribs that's me I'm gone um, no, no you got body plates I didn't get body plates when doing no it. no some some federations do but not mine so I was like that's fine um, but yeah so we went up to start fighting and usually I try to like get the first kick and then run away <laughs> and like hopefully they don't kick me for the rest of the thing and um, 
yeah, they, they didn't count my kick, so I didn't get the point. And I was like, I need to go back and get a kick. But she just kept, like, side kicking me in the stomach. And I was just like, I'm going to vomit on you. And there was, like, maybe... Yeah, I probably cut it off. <laughs> there, were, there was probably, like, 45 seconds left. And, like, after three minutes of sparring, you're dying, right? So it was, like, 45 seconds left. And I was like, if she kicks me one more time, I'm going to punch her in the face. And, like, not on her head guard, I'm going to punch her in the face. And I'd never felt rage like that before. And she kicks me in the stomach, and I was like, that's it, unleash the beast. <laughs> and I just, prob- I was going for a head guard, I promise you, right? But she moved. <coughs> and, Why? And, shut up, right? <laughs> for legal reasons, right? But, um, okay, sorry, yeah, she was <laughs> going for the head guard. But yeah, no, I, I was I was actually going, not for the side, I was going for like the top of the head, because actually that's worth more, right? So I was going for that. Did you go for the nose? No, no, no. Get up in the skull. You, can't, you can't uppercut, that's, that's an illegal yeah, unfortunately as well like the pad it doesn't work you wouldn't be able to get an uppercut yeah it just doesn't work but so, sad so times <laughs> I, was, I was trying to go for the top of her head she jumps up to try, try and do like a turn and kick to her fucking side fucking hell she's going in all that and I just fucking walloped her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh like in the face though oh yeah and so she stumbles back and I'm like oh that one hurt <laughs> and she kind of goes oh my god and waves at the ref the ref comes over and he goes, you, corner now. And I'm like, oh God, what have I done? You've been putting the naughty corner. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like kneeling in the corner because it's a sign of respect. You, you kneel in the corner and you face away from your opponent. And I'm looking at one of the refs, like one of the side refs, who's like one of my friends who taught me. And I'm looking at him and I'm going, what did I do? And he just gives me these eyes of, oh shit, you fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, that's been like a solid 30 seconds and she's not moved. And I... <laughs> <laughs> Did you knock her clean out on the ground? I, I kind of like, I try and peek around my shoulder and she's down. She's like on the ground and I'm like, Fucking oh spandard. god. <laughs> so it turns At out. At this stage she's disabled, guys. Turns <laughs> out she, she like fainted, like her vision went blurry and she Oof. fainted and the paramedics to, were over. To, to put it bluntly then, you knocked her out. I did, right. And so then she gets up. Not a bad KO. <laughs> she gets up and she's like, oh, I'm feeling a little bit, you know, not good. And I was like, so we'll just spar easy. Like, I'll just like be taps, right? <laughs> and like they start the call. She just and after that, she's again. been out for 30 seconds, they let her fight again. Yeah, afterwards. yeah, because like she not, like if she gives consent to fight again, it's her fault, right? So I am sorry, but that can't be our <laughs> Like a seventeen-year-old lass, not even eighteen-year-olds yet, was like giving consent after she'd been basically knocked out. On so, the so, so, yeah. So she fell back, right? And, she, and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm seeing spots. It's not good." And, and yeah, see, like, I've been concussed before, and I've seen that shit. It took me then, about six hours. Okay, maybe to thirty seconds is an exaggeration. Maybe it was like two minutes or something, right? But, but like, it's hard to tell I've when you're in the ring, this right? Story, this story is going to go on a straight and narrow, and then just there you talk. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling this last thing is back up. And fucking scalps her one back. She does. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, fair, that's some guess. I wouldn't have gone back. I am so I was, ex- ex- I was <laughs> expecting like a paramedic or something to drag it away. No, I wanted to see like knock you out. No, no, God, no. I wouldn't allow that shit. No. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Basically, no, like we start fighting again. And she's just like kicking my stomach again. And I'm like, I am already bruised here. You can't keep kicking me here. So I'm trying to like dodge out the way so that I don't get another. Like, because I've already got like two fights for like you know knocking this girl out and so I was just kind of like punching by her and then like I did like a kick to the back of her head which is perfectly legal right um because I was trying to get like the side of her face right so I was trying to do that and I, I caught her and she was like, oh my god, I'm going to have an asthma attack. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so the, the fight was just cancelled and she was given the win. And I was like, no. And so I get bronze, whatever. But, like, I, I don't think I've... Like, she hurt me a lot that time. But, like, I totally got her back for it. And then, years later, when I was down at the English ca- uh, Championships, it's called the UK Championships, but it is England, right? Um, I went down. She's only progressed, like, maybe a belt and a half. And I've progressed, like, maybe two and a half. And I was like, oh, I can take her. Oh, I can take her. Good <laughs> mind, bitch. And we did you fight. Be here. She, she didn't recognise me, but I recognised her. I was like, oh, it's you. And so we fought. And again, like, it's, it's all friendly, but, you know, um, like, we were having a fight, and, like, I know, I know her technique now. I know she's going to go for her stomach. So the first thing I do is I hook down her, her foot that's coming towards me, and it's just a boom smack to the face, and it was great. It's a brutal game sometimes. Like. It, was, oh, it was wonderful, and, and I, I won that fight, and it was, it was 
was, oh, so Set good. Revenge. And it's beautiful, honestly. I've never, never felt joy like that. <laughs> but but uh, no, I've done some damage. I've, I've knocked someone out during a grading. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I nearly broke a guy's ribs. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, I have heavy combat, but uh, yeah, like that. That was one of the things about um, when I was. <laughs> are you all right? Are you nervous? <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, Liam, I might need to go because she's scared of shit out of me. No, I, 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 don't, I don't fight that, that bad anymore. Like, that was because I was, when I was grading, I was grading with people who were, like, fit in their 30s. So do you men, think, like, six the, foot, like do you think, like, you were doing this extra, like, fighting back because that's what you're training against and everything yeah. you actually against and then I was, yeah, When I was against someone who was, like, my build and, like, <coughs> my age, and I was really like, realising, God, I'm, like, fighting, like, a 30-year-old fit man. <laughs> like, I need to stop. Um, and so, yeah, no, I, I was really fit at that time. And that was, like, linking up back to school. There was a guy who kept, like, bullying me. and It, it must have been, like, second year. And he just kept like throwing bags at me and stuff, and I was like, "This oh, is skill bags." Yeah, and like just like throwing stuff at me all the time, and I was like, "This isn't happening." Oh, and so, he like, throws... so it was this like during class or no, like... this during break time. Uh, yeah. And so he was passing by in the corridor, and he threw the bag at me, and it, like it had important stuff. In... Like I couldn't care if it hurt me; it had important stuff in it, right? So I was like, I caught the bag, placed it down gently, and I said, "What do you want? Do you want more?" And, and, and he walked over and he was like, yeah, why not? No, no, no. He comes over and he's like, he's obviously going to try and grab me. And so it's not fighting, it's deflecting. <laughs> it's how we say about the teacher's cameras. <laughs> no, because genuinely, he went to go grab me and okay. like, I, I hooked his arm and I pushed him against the wall. And I said, try it again, boy. And this knee is going so far up your arse, you'll be screaming for a month. <laughs> And, oh, and, I him and, like, and like the knee was hovering I was like try anything you're not getting your balls back <laughs> and so and he was warmed right and, so, and like from that day on respect <laughs> and like I, I don't fight anyone ever like even in school that like I was known for breaking up fights during school and I just refused to fight but that one time was needed so that I could just go like don't screw with me and we're good and do yeah. you have sorry put you on the spot but would you have anyone like I mean we've had folk on before who have been bullied and they've given like their own personal accounts of like what to like do in a situation yeah if there's anyone out there listening do you have any like advice for them what to yeah. do yeah I mean it's, it's always hard when you try and say like don't fight back because like it just it depends on like I was fortunate enough that yeah, I could skills. defend myself yeah. but like they didn't know that until I, I could show that. And, and so I think being visibly confident about yourself is always helpful. And not like cocky. I mean, like, if you show that you don't care, that often helps. Like, I, I remember there's times when people have just been like, oh my God, you're this, you're that. Oh my God, you should be ashamed. And I'm like, well, maybe I am, so what? And they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. And they don't really know how to react to it. Just a certain confidence. I mean, I developed that into apathy, which is probably not the best idea, but just, you know, having confidence about yourself. And if you are like having really bad trouble, probably go speak to someone about it. Like there's no shame in saying, look, someone's messing about with me, going to sort it out. It's, it's not a problem. Even if it's a friend, it doesn't need to be a teacher. That's good. Advice. Would you... Yeah. Would you say you were bullied at any point from school? No, I said mine during the first one. I was never bullied. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I know I'm lucky. I'm, like, me and Jamie were never bullied. Yeah. Yeah. I so, think, I think, in I mean, school, bullying wasn't like, I mean, it kind of was, but to say, I said it was quite it was, minimal. There was a couple of people in our school that got properly bullied besides yeah, that. Yeah, but nothing. There was See, bullied. that was, it was just like a network in high school, like, everyone bullied everyone it was like a, it was like a scale do you know what I mean where like the popular kids were pretty much untouchable and then like all the way down it was like they bullied someone and then they would bully someone beneath them see it wasn't like see our school though right so I mean by the time like you had left I mean like there was sort of like an integration thing because like Sort of like two categories. There was like the Neds, and then there was like everyone else. <laughs> okay. And it was like, and to be honest, I said like, well, and then you'd have like the four, like the one, maybe like I don't know, two or three or four, whatever they got bullied, like on their own. But like apart from that, like everyone mixed. Like there was never like. 
the, the, was... maybe the Neds and like the other folk didn't get along to a certain extent, yeah. but like they tolerated each other and there's never yeah. like, any bad blood between them. I but... mean, it, def- it really depends on what, what we're putting, like, who we put in the Ned category. We'll not go into detail, but like, it depends who we put on that. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I think if we yeah. go, if we go off, it was you got as good as you you give in real school. Like, it was, sure. but it was banter. It wasn't. Any, no, like, like no, it was the intent to hurt somebody like that. No, I never suffered. I mean, I've seen it like folks suffering. It's obviously a terrible thing, but I never suffered it personally. I was, I was kind of lucky in the sense that I was just kind of like the nice guy or the shy guy sort of thing. It was like I one of those two sort of things that came to me. <laughs> Jamie was always known as the funny guy, so like, like we sort of had our two sort of things, and we were kind of left alone for it for those two reasons. See, I was I was known as the like the kind of nerdy smart one and like nobody like that you were you weren't cool if you were smart and like uh it was just that that's what yeah, like that was somewhat in your shows no like it? that that you see the interesting thing is actually probably the most popular folk especially by sex year like the most popular folk are probably actually the smartest folk at our school uh, yeah. sex years but you don't have any you don't have any like no i mean like even throughout school though like it's kind of like similar for you. i mean there's a big mix of like groups so it wasn't ever I had like people try groups. stuff, but then it was the last thing they ever tried anything. Like, like the last thing they ever tried anything. Huh. Like, Kyle Allison, he used to be like a wee dick to show off in front of Hamish. <laughs> and then he, he, he learnt his lesson, shall we say. See, like, there's, there's just people who, <coughs> there was people who in first year were like really bad people, and then like by the end of sixth year they were like really nice, and you were like, well, uh, you've developed uh, over the years, I can respect uh, that. And then there were people uh, who, like, in sex year, you were like, nah, you've not I changed. Helped. I, was a big, I was a big guy. Nobody messed with me. <laughs> I know. Mean, See, of... that, that was the thing, because I was, like, I, I, like, I was kind of, like, I was big, but I was small, do you know what I mean? And so, um, like, I, it was that and, like, being, like, smart, quote-unquote smart, and... Like being a nerd and drawing chess and like all that sort of thing. People were just kind of, yeah, I know. Put it there, I went to chess club at lunch. Yes, uh, me too! I also nice. played with Yu Gi Oh cards, I was like one of those guys. I was, I was a state. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's next level. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, people. Were, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. I went to chess club, but it was. Um, chess was, was good, I enjoyed chess. I suppose you had nothing else to do. I was, I, was, I was decent at it. Like. I, was, I was actually very good. I know. Could you ain't yourself be good at it? I'm great at chess. I, 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 I can chess. I still can't can play. chess? Oh, aye. Oh, okay. <laughs> is this like a side channel video you, you that I'm going to have to do? You know, fucking... I'll, I'll let you have the win because you, you end up like chop me one in the nose. No, or like, okay. <laughs> let me, so let me make this clear, right? I'm not going to go about beating up people. That's not right. what I do, right? Come on, yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, everyone's actually, like, yeah, right, you come from North Korea. And I'm like, no, honestly, I'm not going to beat people up. That's not what I do. I can't. I'm a black belt. That's like not part of my code. Also, you get arrested if you do. Also, I get arrested, yeah, so, like, that's not really part of my deal. I mean, if anybody hits anybody, you get arrested. <laughs> but that, well, that's depends if you're a grass or no. <laughs> like, the only time I've ever used my taekwondo was in self defence. And that time, when the guy was coming up and hit me with the bag, that was self defence. I'm That's totally valid. Like I think that's that fair. Too. So, I mean, like, you didn't actually hurt the boy, did you? No, no. That, like, that, exactly. That you just made it known that he would get hurt if he tried yeah, it. Yeah, and I, th- I think the best part was because I knew it was true, he knew it was true, and he was like, oh, okay, I'll step back. And I was like, yeah, you damn right, you will. <laughs> so, going on from school then, why is it you decided to come to Fourth Valley College, Sterling? Wow. I mean, I know why you wanted to come to Stirling, but... What, why, why did I want to come to Stirling? Tell me. To get out of Cumberland. That's very true. So, that's the first part of so it. We'll leave that question aside. Yeah. Why okay, did, like, why did okay, you well, to come we'll start from the beginning, right? So, from <laughs> sixth year, yeah, uh-huh. how did you get through, like, you know, the UK? Because, like, you're a very smart person, right? And you're definitely one... No, nah, I'm not even saying this stuff, anyway. Anyway, you are actually probably in the top three, like, smartest people in our class, yeah. <laughs> I want to know the other two, but yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Me um, and me. <laughs> she's modest as well, guys. Um, I'm joking, please. So, how did, like, so, like, traditionally, yeah, if I was still at school, I would have thought it's like, you know, you know, you know straight away. Yeah. Like, why is it you decided college? Well, over? That, that was the thing. Like, there was no discussion in my high school about going to college. Like, there, were, there was, I didn't actually want to go to uni. I was like, really? yeah, because I, because for a long time, I was like, that's just what people do to prolong going into the big bad world and I don't want to do that I want to go out and I want to like do stuff and for the last two years you've done that 
Yeah. You have been prolonged for the last two years. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, 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 so, anyway, go So to. basically, I was like, no, basically, like, people just go to uni just so that they can, like, you know, get free money and then like, never have it. to pay it back and... Uh, like I feel like a lot of people I also knew was like they they were going to uni for a skive, and so what the, who the fuck goes to uni for like, a skive? Strathclyde. <laughs> I'm just saying. That, I'm know. sorry, but it looks like your degrees like hair manicures or something <laughs> like that. Like watch what you say. Some of the listeners might be like really offended. <laughs> sorry, I'm off. You're listening. I'm apologising. <laughs> but uh, no, like I I just felt like. A lot of the people I knew weren't happy in uni, and so I was like, "No, I don't want to do that." Then if it's going to make me unhappy, and then like, so and then I started thinking about it, and I was like, "But I kind of want to." <laughs> <laughs> so like, so yeah, going back. So it, so I was like, okay, I'll just I'll I'll go on to Newcastle, like I'll sign up for stuff. And so originally, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do game design. Is so at Dundee, I take it. Uh, yeah, so at Aberty or at um, uh, you, you Fe- I'm just sure she would have done a Ferguson's course if she got into that job because, <laughs> like, like oh, you know, Fergus, I'm away. Yeah, um, like she would have been in Ferguson's course right. if she did that because, like, it, it, like oh, I, there was so much I wanted to do. I, I really enjoyed art and I like I enjoyed drawing and I was reasonably good at it, so I was like, yeah, why can't I do game design? And so I applied to Edinburgh, I applied to Aberdeen, I applied to Caledonian for two, and then I thought, like I went on to Sterling hoping they had something, and they, and they didn't, and, and, and then it said digital media, and I was like, oh, that's like more than one thing, that's like film and photography, and there's something to do with computers in there, maybe they'll do games, and, and they didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was all that. just a big mistake. Um, no, but I, I basically, I got accepted by. Um, I also applied to a college course to do like a coding, and I got an unconditional for that. Um, and they were like, "Yeah, you're way too overqualified to be here." I was like, "Okay." Um, so. No, not bad. I wish I get that one time at least in my life. <laughs> so yeah, like I was like, okay, I'm I'm overqualified for college for that, that course. Uh-huh. So, what about um, Edinburgh? And then I looked at the logistics, and it's like a three-hour travel. And I was like, oh. Nah, not doing that. Um, and so, and then I looked <coughs> at Aberdeen, and I was like, Oh God, I need to move, and I haven't saved up enough money to go there. It's so, always a problem. So I was kind of like, I was hoping for that one, but I was, I knew I wasn't getting it. And then um, for the last few, uh, for Caledonian anyway. I got like accepted but I had to submit portfolios and me being the procrastinator that I am I just you know left it to the last minute. No, nah, then... well, I mean we'll get on to later but you never used to be a kind of procrastinator. We'll I was, explain, we'll I explain was a little bit, bit, I was but, actually a little bit but I... I we'll, we'll go more into detail it's later. Developed, it's developed to since on, on a the healthy incident, level. Since a certain incident happened. We'll talk about that too yeah but um, like basically I, I did procrastinate on it and like I had a great idea like I sketched everything down but I just didn't have it like done the way I wanted it and so I was like screw it the deadline's in like an hour I'll just like take photos an hour like, fucking hell no 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 like I, I was like I'm still sketching at that oh. point but I needed to upload right so I was like okay I'll just I'll put it up right and I, I put it up and they were like yeah that's that shit we're not accepting that and I was like yeah I know um so I was pretty disappointed in myself for that one but the other two courses they were like yeah yeah um, and so it was just a sterling one and they offered the open day and I was like no I don't really want to go and then they were like you get a day off school I was like I'm going so I, I went to the, the shock of the youth of today yeah right. I wasn't missing much you would never catch <laughs> it see I probably actually shouldn't be saying this like, see for my one yeah see when I was in the section yeah the school let us have two days off like for uni uh-huh. um, but I found three of my mates who weren't using their two days off and I just used their passes oh, <laughs> so, nice. so I went to three unis and the rest of the time I fucked off in the pubs with my mates from school that's amazing that's, that's a genius but uh, no I, I didn't think about that I, I think mine was actually like one of the times that I had like the director study classes anyway so I was like no yeah, that's fine um so I went to the open day and I was like, oh my God, 
it's so much nicer than Scum Bernard. Oh, <laughs> and so, I, like... Well, the college doing that way. No, the, the oh, actual sorry. uni. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's still in uni. It's, it's actually a nice place. Oh, isn't it? I mean... I don't know what it is, right? I think it just feels a wee bit old to me now. And it feels like too big and too nah. wanky and such. <laughs> I think it's probably when it is I think it's better than a lot of Glasgow units. No, 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 no. I know, no, 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 it is. It's like of an upper standard here, but it just seems a wee bit wanky. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The coaches are pretty shit. They, they don't really Yeah. They've not got a wide uh, wide range of courses. But so yeah, no it, it, was, it, it was like a, a nice kind of day up there and they were kind of like telling us what sort of stuff we do and that's that's actually where I met Marin and I was like oh she's nice oh wait are you talking about the first ever day that we went up there to like sign up to like the library and stuff like that no 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 no. oh no. right okay no this was like back <laughs> when I was forgot to... about that we had to see like in our first like one of our first ever days of college we had to go up to uni to like sign up to be a member of like the library and I that. spent I've so gen- much money that day I, like... I genuinely haven't been up there once to fucking use the facilities no, <laughs> no no, but it's genuinely not needed for our course. Like, not at this point. Not yet, yeah. yeah. Like, not not definitely not. But it's because, like, colleges were practical. Yeah. And, no, like, that, that was something that when I went back to the school, I was like, oh, it's, like, really cool. And they were like, oh, but it's an integrated degree. And I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, and, Same. And, and they were like, oh, it means you go to college as well. And I was like, this is brilliant. I'm like, I just went to a college and they said I was overqualified. And I was like, the first two years are going to be great for me. And then we get there and it's like, practical work all the time. Go, go, go. And I'm like, oh my God. So, like, <laughs> See, I enjoy that. I, no, I, I, I did. I do enjoy it. I think I'm really going to miss it when I leave. But it, it was like, I wasn't expecting that because the other college that I went to that I got my interview for, they were just kind of like chilling about all the time. Yeah. And like the college that's in Cumberland is just like, I wasn't going there. I was like, no, that's not my style. So you made your decision. You went there. Yeah. yeah. Describe first year. At least a wee bit. Of first year. What was it like? Oh, God. I, I remember, actually, do you know what was really pleasant about first year? I remember I sat down by myself and I was like, here we go again. It's going to be like first year. It's going to be like bullying. And then I'll maybe develop like two friends and then it'll be fine whatever and then the first guy who sits down in front of me is Mar himself and he he goes you're right and I'm like oh it's gonna be a wonderful time (laughs) (laughs) and and so I was yeah and so I I think I met you and I met Shannon no I didn't meet Shannon immediately but I, I met like a lot of the class within like the first day and I was like I'm making friends and it was it was really great and, and the the um like lecturers themselves were so nice like I've never ever met people so caring is so intelligent especially coming from Cumberland you don't get intelligent teachers um it's so like <laughs> actually funny story right when like when we got there and I, was, I, I became friendly with Sam about like maybe just like a few months into the course right and we were so chatting all the time and it's quite incredible because Sam in our course is like the least she's talkative quite quiet, person yeah. she's like the most quiet lass I've ever she's met lovely, in my time she's honestly she's no she's so nice but like she is, she is the super quiet. quietest person it was because we always came in early because like I, I take like forever to travel in and so she drove in and she always wants to get a space so she drove in really early so whenever I saw her, I'd just sit next to her and I'd start chatting. And I remember mentioning something about my English course. And I said something about my teacher, who happened to be Miss Barr. And then I realised... Wait, is it Sam's teacher? No. Uh, it's Sam's mum, sorry. It's Sam's cousin, right? Oh. And I was talking shit about this teacher. Oh! Oh! I didn't even know this story. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God! But, That's a serious. <laughs> of, of all the chances, of like, what the fuck are the chances of that? I know. You've right? got more chance of the lottery than you do that. It was just, it was that moment where I went, "How did you know?" Like I said something, and she commented something about appearance, and I was like, "I didn't tell you what she looked like," and she was like, "Oh, I know, she's my cousin," and I was like, "Oh no!" I'm like, I am leaving. <laughs> 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 But like to be fair, like a lot of the time I was just basically talking about like 
the teaching skill level and not like oh, her. No, no, no. You dug yourself into a hole. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't lie to yourself. You dug yourself into a hole. Oh, no. I definitely it. did. But it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Because, like, the teacher herself is, like, such a lovely person. But she's just, like, because she, she came to Cumberdall to do her probationary year, like, she was doomed from the beginning. It's just, <laughs> it's so, and she took, like, a higher class where she was meant to be doing it and that five. And, and it was just, like, it was hard for her and it was hard for us. And so it was just a bad time. So, let me get this straight. <laughs> <laughs> there is a girl, Sam. Yes. He sat down. Yep. <laughs> and he was just all this shit. A teacher who was on a one year probation in Scumbernold, her first year, per bitch, first year in Scumbernold, you go and you chat all this shit about a probation, a probation period. Wow. No. And you think that's bad? You think that's acceptable? No, no. Do, no, do you know what? Like, she is so lucky with Sam because Sam is just like, Sam would have taken She's just like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, no, yeah. actually, she's so nice. She would have been like, ah, that's alright. Yeah, she <laughs> basically mean, did. A probation I know. And covered all. You, you slacked her for that. Why Brutal. Would, why would you take higher class? In your probationary year in Cumbernauld. She wants a child. Already you disadvantaged. Like. Why are you chatting shit about somebody who's in the probation year in no, 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 to, to be fair, because my grand's a teacher, I know like, how the teaching system works. So, see, like, when it comes to, like, uh, when it comes to actually, like, the start of year, like, what class yeah, are yeah. we get, it's basically like the head goes, right, you get that class, you get that yeah, class. Yeah, and yeah. that probably happened to her, and she's probably thinking, if you, fuck. If <laughs> you keep in mind that the teacher we were originally going to have was the head of department, and then a probationary cousin, we were like, what is this? I'm sorry, but you got what off. <laughs> and, then still, and then you still <laughs> bitch <laughs> about it. It's basically like having a substitute for a year. I was just, Fucking it was, hell. I, I, I meant well, I did. <laughs> I actually did. So anyway, what was the rest of the first year like? I, of, of college. Of college, uh, No, it was great. I mean, I, I mainly just remember paperwork upon paperwork upon paperwork. Let's, let's skip forward a wee bit then. Let's go to when you moved into 1A, or for keen viewers, <gasps> Keelan's flat. Oh, so explain go. the story behind that. How did this actually come about? Well, then? technically this didn't happen, so, you know. Like, yeah, no, if anyone from Bain Street's listening, she didn't do this. Keep it on the down low, right? But uh, basically, our car broke. <laughs> look, stop, right? look, let me put it this way my car or the family car is how we get me to Croy to get the train here how far is it from your house to the Croy train station <laughs> uh, about a 10 minute drive which okay. is alright right, yeah. right but, how much to walk but I don't know it's Wait, not Croy, walkable that's like it's, that's up by like beyond Broadwood fucking you now Fucking hell. So, so that's, that's heavy, that one. <laughs> so, like, basically, I had to wake up at half six or six every morning. I still do this. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. So, no, like, see, like, because we've got a Snapchat group with everyone from college. It's just, like, every morning. It's, like, every Megan's morning got something it's me at six and then like, everyone else at half eight. I'm yeah, like, I know. I'm saying, oh, <laughs> Megan. I'm just, like, I'm just, like, waking up at, like, 20 past eight. Oh, all right, Megan. I'm all going <laughs> to college now. <dude." laughs> the Croy's in Glasgow, like, that's... No, 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 no. Croy Station. Croy Train Station. Yep. Is near Broadwood. Okay. So, right. right, so it's not quite Glasgow. So I don't know this area quite well, but anyway, so like you'd have to do that trip. So yeah, so like I'd wake up at like half six and then like try and rustle up, you know, some kind of morality, and then um, <laughs> head downstairs, jump into the car. So it was probably yeah about a ten minute drive, and then I get to the train station, wait my train for five minutes, get into it takes about half an hour to get from Croy to Stirling, and then I need to wait for fifty minutes for my bus. And then I get to college. I walk a wee bit okay. as well. So it's 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 a trick. Right? I mean, you say a wee bit. It's like about a forty-minute walk. Oh, from ba- on the basis yeah. of the story you've just told me, I'm going to write and you get to to college maybe about quarter past eight. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm pretty sure you could get an extra 15, 20 minutes in your bed. <laughs> I no, because I can't like because otherwise I'll that's arrive true. at quarter past nine and that's absent. That's gone. That's on tip. The fact that she has to get up that early and she's still <laughs> at college too early. It's, it's it's a hard life, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, so how did the move come about? Well, so the short term. The move. the the car broke. In fact, it was when my mum was picking me up. She was supposed to be picking me up from Croy, but I, I got the later train, and she didn't get my text saying, I'm going to be late. 
So she was driving on her way to Croy, realised that I wasn't there, was driving back, no. and the brakes died. Oh and she had to navigate back home with no brakes. That's pretty impressive. It is very impressive, considering the amount of hills and roundabouts, because Cumberland only has one set, two sets, sorry, of traffic lights in the entirety of the town. What? Yeah. Have you never been? No. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's hills and roundabouts, that's all it is, right? It is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say sorry to me for I don't love that. Yeah, but <laughs> you, it's, you don't want it. Yeah, it's, it's bad, right? So, like, and we live on a hill, right? So, so like, my mum was just, like, praying all the time, trying to get home. And then she finally makes it home. Yeah, road, road how, type, how, how steep are we talking, like, hill-wise? Like, 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 like you know how... You're the... a fucking mentally good job <laughs> to get it into. Yes, that clutch control like that was, at some point. That that was... It would be funny, but if she's put that in gear, handbrake, and managed to get into a space, fair play her. Like, that, that was the thing, because like, we, we normally park like going up the hill kind of thing, but like there's no way that's happening with no brakes. So like we just kind of had to like slide into one of our, our neighbours' parking spaces, which is just kind of like sitting on its side down the hill kind of thing. Okay. So she like swung into the corner like nobody's business and just like handbrake into that wee space. Fast shit, right? Then, <laughs> that's and so She calls me up and she's like, no chance. Like, <laughs> you can find your own way home. And I was like, no, that's absolutely fine. So I, I get the bus home, I think. I don't remember. I was quite traumatised that night. Um, and so she was like, yeah, you, you can't... Um, this isn't going to work driving you in the morning. There's no brakes. Uh, so I was like, okay, this is an issue. Um, Slightly. I'll just get the, the bus. Turns out you can't get a bus to Croy at the time of morning that I need to get in okay. time. So I was like, well, this is a bit naff. How am I going to get to Croy? And so I started calling up people. I was like, is there any way I can stay here? And they're all like, no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Are we talking about people for your college? Yeah, well, yeah. If, uh, other friends as well. But I eventually call up college people and I'm like, this has been a really good friends with Shannon. I was like, hey, Shannon, Shannon. She's like, oh god, what do you want? <laughs> I'm like, this is what the relationship has basically. It's like. beautiful. I love it. I was like, hi, um, I can't, I can't get to college anymore. She was like, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> this was, this was like when we were at like, not quite graded unit time, but you know, like the stressful Damn, end of like college. Like we're get, how long did you stay there between? About three months. Yeah, so like the last three months of college, so like the, so like the worst possible time that this could have happened. Uh. And I called her up and I was like, yo, I, I need a place to stay. She was like, well, you can't really stay in dorms. Like, it's not really a thing you can do. And I was like, I won't stay in dorms. I'll just couch surf. Um, <laughs> so, it, was, it was actually so fucking impressive <laughs> that you never got caught. Genuinely, it's actually the most impressive thing I think I noticed. It was, it. It, like, that was the thing, right? I don't like being there. And I, I, not that, like, I, I loved the company, but I was always worried that I would get them in trouble and it was totally nah. my fault. Um, and so I was like, basically, so, like, you I'm got only there sleeping then, there. And so, like, like, you got there, where was it you were having to stay there? So, I was, I was staying from, I reckon it was about March. Till Until May, May. Yeah. the end of May, yeah. yeah, and and it was it was it was great. I loved it. It was the, I wish I'd moved into halls, but it was just yeah. See, I don't see know. like it was that that time was always brilliant for me because I'd come home with every day of college, go upstairs, change, come back down. To yeah, it was just like, bad the party was at one eight. <laughs> yeah, just. Like, basically, afternoon drinking and studying was basically my next three months when you were staying there. Some of, some of my best, like, I was going to say some of my best memories, some of my best Snapchat memories <laughs> are from, like, one Of course. <laughs> no, because, like, I, I, one of the things that I was talking about the other night was, um, like, all my socialising was done at 1A. And, like, when I came home, my mom was like, oh, you look, you look sad to be back. And I was like, oh, yeah, but I want to go back. <laughs> but, so, uh, like... So what was like the main difference is you because obviously you only got like a wee taste of dorms but what was it like going from three months like for, what was it like basically it three was months? beautiful to sleep until eight you have no idea I would wake up at half seven like I feel like I've slept in too much it was godly I'd, <laughs> I'd wake up at half seven and go like Shannon do you want toast she's like I'm not getting up for another hour I'm like do you want toast do you want pancakes like what, what do you want I'll so wait much time. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And, and like the best part was like you gave us a lift and I was like I don't even need to walk anymore it was great uh, I loved it <laughs> big man thank you <laughs> but uh, no it was that and like 
I, I would always stay up till like one anyway at my house doing work. Yeah, but like there but was there a, was like freedom to do that now. But there, <laughs> there was a downside to this which you seem to have kept from this and that is your procrastinating seems to have gone up a wee bit, it's, hasn't it, Megan? It's, it's tough, man. It's like my family have noticed that since I've like come back from my, my Sterling rehab, <laughs> since I've come back from Sterling, it's been like I drink more. And I, and I procrastinate more. <laughs> nah, That's it. <laughs> see, like, see, like, when Megan, like, before she moved into there, she was always known as, like, the good one of, like, the groups. So, like, every night, like, before an exam or, like, a test or something, we'd always be on Snapchat to each other panicking, and Megan would be like, I'm worried because I've only made, like, 47 slides <laughs> on this, like, topic. And I'd be like, what the fuck are you worried about? And, of course, she'd always get an A at everything, and then... And then, I and, then, to and then how shall we say it took a bit of a nose dive once she went into <laughs> don't get me wrong I was still passing stuff yeah no 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 you were and, like, I was still doing well but, but in a I more stressful way definitely like, it would be like it didn't help that I was living with like like Tasha and Shannon who like we'd be sitting at like 2am in the middle of the like, just in the kitchen and I'd be like Shannon Shannon I, I need to go to bed and she's like have you finished the thing I'm like of course I've not finished the thing we were chatting and watching Attack on Titan for five hours she was like alright I'm gonna go to bed and I'm like no what if it we just stay up <laughs> that was like well I can't show I do my best when I go down there I try and motivate but then you know the alcohol and my own self so I didn't take it away he's like I'm here to motivate you open spear I'm like what <laughs> But, like, that, that was another thing. Like, it was, like, we would go out and we'd get, like, Cosmos from Tesco just round the corner. Oh, they were and, like, fucking grim. How could you honestly <laughs> sit in a flat and drink those? They were all right. Like, I mean, like, the usual would be, like, I'm going to get a trip 20 crate of Miller and, like, they'd come back with these fucking horrible money. Cosmos in a can. It's, like, 11 quid for 20 balls of beer. <laughs> you can't... And you're spending three pound, like, odds on a fucking Cosmo in a can. It's, like, it's like a pound. That's why I get it. Anyway, not the point, right? Basically, it was just, like, I'd go out and I'd drink and it'd be fine. But, like, back at... Wh- where I live, my family don't drink at all. It's so, like, coming over here... It was, it was also, like... I remember one time I needed to do, like... I had an assessment in the morning... And I was like, Shannon, I'm just going to, like, stay and bash this out. And she was like, I'm going to go out to dusk. I was like, cool, you do you, but I'm I'm going to I'm gonna do <laughs> my paperwork. And then the persuasion to and, then, and then she was like, Megan, I need a white man. I was like, I don't do that sort of thing. And she was like, Megan, Megan, you, I let that you live here. That was her own response. <laughs> yeah. I need a white man. <laughs> so, At least she's honest. So I, I was like, I can't, like, I... No, and she was like, "Well, I let you live here." And so, <laughs> <laughs> the girl trap took over. That's you. Fucked. And I was like, I was like, I don't. I'm going to tell the security. <laughs> I was like, I've been letting you live. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I said like I don't I don't have clothes to go out to the club. And, and, and she was like, "I'll give you some," and I was like. Damn, okay. <laughs> so, so like you, you don't need to dress up for dusk. No, well you I think that out. I, <laughs> I think you do if you're a girl. I think you do. Yeah. But um I I could get away like two in that. So so I stole Shannon's clothes and I was like, okay, let's go. And then and the whole reason she was she asked me to go was because Tasha wasn't going. And then suddenly we're just about to leave and Tasha goes, Wait! Wait! I'm coming. And I was like, Tasha! No! Well, so I was having to experience all this shit as well going on in the corner. <laughs> and, and, and like we get back at like three in the morning, and I'm like, I still need to do my assessment. <laughs> it, was, it was quite fun. I was like, Jen, like you know, like the Star Wars films, like you see, like I like, can go for like into the dark side. It was like, yeah. I was like, like I'm trying to think of like a character, like you see the Godfather. Never. Oh wait, the Godfather. Right? Ah, yeah, the Godfather. You know, like how you go, like you know, at the very start of it, how he's like this, like very clean cut, like soldier. He won't do anything illegal, and then by the end, he's like just this full hung guy. So I was like basically the dark side that we took Megan over to. When she was I tried saying. to change; it just didn't happen. Yeah, and how how is it now? It's it's not bad. Don't don't lie. <laughs> is there anything you missed from first year compared to second year? Um. No, <laughs> no. Enough. Actually, I I think um. Well, we're gonna be like one of our lecturers is leaving soon, and I'll miss her. But uh, I don't know if I I do miss any of the the work necessarily, because like it was. I prefer a wee bit more of the work to be honest from first year. I I enjoyed like doing the um like filming and be like practical and going out and doing stuff like that, but 
this year like I'm really interested in the coding and um, I'm like I'm going back to like the roots of like why I, I wanted to do this course and yeah no, I, I'm excited but I'm like I'm more nervous this year about the transition to third year because yeah. it's going to be totally different and that's like true don't know right well whilst I load up my phone we're going to play a little game first the first game oh god I'm scared called what do you think of Jamie would you like to explain it quickly while I find it oh right. lord so Liam is going to give you a list Um, well he's going to read out a list of just words or certain categories such as Scotland and okay. he used to give you a brief one word couple of words answered so I, I say Scotland Jamie says best country in the world okay. something like that now we're going to throw a wee twist on the first oh, okay no I'm going to get it. This was a difficult question I was describing oh, to you in the car. Damn, okay. I want you to describe our people from college that we've known and become friends with. Now, you can be oh. brutally honest because, Jamie, you know as an outsider, Kiel was pretty brutally honest about his, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, very. Yeah, right. Very. Okay, so I want you to be as honest as possible, okay? Okay. Right. I'm going to go through folk from college that we've become friends oh, with. Oh, Jesus, no. No, don't do this to me. Tasha. Um, <laughs> but play first thing so that like, you've got to describe uh, those also, think. Loud but funny. Shannon. Loud and sarcastic. <laughs> Lauren. Oh, amazing photographer. Graham. Oh, wow, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I don't, know. I don't know if that was a good answer. <laughs> Emma was a good answer. Heather. Heather, uh, always late. Always oh, yeah, no. oh, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting It's because it's true. Andrew. Oh, amazing laugh. Amazing laugh, that's very it's, true. It's amazing, I love it. Before we continue on to the rest, you have any messages for them that you'd like to say? Please don't be offended by this podcast, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, you're, you're sort of. Like we've had so far three that have been in this situation. You're sort of like in be- like you're in fact you're probably the least offensive. Oh well, that's but good. <laughs> Kiel was definitely the most then grey other than you. Well I do expect that from Kiel. No oh, offense, yeah, Kiel. He, had, oh, he, he had no chill. To be fair, I did tell him give us your honest oh. opinion. Hey, give us your honest opinion. Oh god, was I included in that? Oh god. Oh they told us in back. I can't no. remember. No. Okay. I think I just did like who lived in money originally. From... Probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> um Scotland. The best country in the world. Okay, that's <laughs> uh, Cumbernauld. Oh, Scumbernauld. <laughs> old ladies, is that the name of high school? <laughs> old, ladies. Old, old, old ladies. Old ladies. Old, old, old ladies, ladies is my reaction to it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fair play. I just forgot that off the top of my head. Uh, alcohol. Liam's fault. Great <laughs> <laughs> answer. Damn it. <laughs> Drugs. Uh, Keela's fault. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm Moving joking. On. Oh. <laughs> um, school. Uh, bad times. College. Great times. Sitting and chatting podcast. Amazing times. Yes, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Now we do a wee section called This Is The News, oh, featuring God. Liam and Jabba, brackets and guests. Okay. <laughs> I am guessing. I really, I really need a jingle for this at some point. If anyone can make a jingle, make it for that specific this point. This is the news. Cool. Right, now, have any of you heard about the pan, panora- um, sorry, the, the programme Panorama on the BBC? Yes, yeah. yes. You? I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, do you know what it is, yeah? Absolutely not. No, no, okay. <laughs> it's basically like this programme, basically like undercover reporters go and expose things in certain companies that are meant to be all clean and good right. and all that sort of thing. Ironic coming from the BBC. But so you know. basically it's found out that Shin Loans has been committing fraud over the last sort of year Funny and a half. that. I wouldn't exactly call that news, but okay. <laughs> No, but like, they're basically, there's guys in it, there's different people in it, so it's not like just one person, but there's certain people right. in the organisation that basically offer to like change grades, up attendances oh, for like okay. certain fees, you know. Right, corrupt. I get you. Right. What's that? It's all corrupt. Yeah. yeah. Like the judge. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that back a wee while. Money, money talks. Money, money does talk. Well, they're saying there for £1,500 he will change a grade on a student's like, exam papers. Ooh. Or is it sad for you? What do you think of this? It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, but I mean, if we're going to talk sense, I wouldn't be talking about. He never asked, would you do it? 
Yeah. Is that what he says? What's yeah. your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too expensive. No, I mean, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to be like, fuck, I wish I could afford this today. <laughs> Fucking hell. My grade of unit could get an A and I could be off to uni. <laughs> no, my grade of unit is going to get an A. I don't, yeah, need, yeah, no, I don't need no paid yeah. like, student debt for that. Megan's just currently getting me to write down the name of the person so she can get in contact. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. But, uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I mean, it is expensive. Know. We'll go back to that. Would you be surprised by that? Like, are you genuinely surprised that she wants to? See, like, I'm surprised. Like, like, not about the whole bribes. I can see, like, the bribes are happening, but... I would have thought it would be quite difficult to like, be able to change like a student's grade or something like that. <sighs> Do you not think so? It's well, like they say it's hard to buy drugs. It ain't hard to buy drugs. You just need to Who the hell said it's hard drugs. to buy drugs? <laughs> yeah. We have a couple of <laughs> Yeah, I know. Even <laughs> in Stirling, it's quite a commodity. You get more than sweet shops down here. <sighs> I don't understand that. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. Like, you what know, do you think of it? taxi drivers in Stirling will sell drugs. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Is that a scientific okay. fact? <laughs> that is straight to the top. Straight the nugget, mate. Straight to yeah. the top of the nugget. This is why Jamie didn't do too well at theory school. I've well, done too well. Theory school? Theory at said. school, I said. Oh. <laughs> Not theory school. It's guide. No. Love it. No, do you not find that, like, I don't know, like, what would, like genuinely, though, like, so you do, like, Put, put it this way, after what you heard from my judge story, do you deal no, with no, 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 like, but what I'm trying to say is here though, so, you're a student in our situation, yeah, you've spent hundreds of, well, okay, you spent many hours <laughs> of, like, your free time, like, studying for college, you know, you've put in all the hard work, you've got stress, you know, you've got all the problems from that, you've missed spending time with your friends, right. all to do this work, you get a B, someone who doesn't put in the effort pays for the exam and you know about to get an A, how do you feel? You'd feel fucking pissed off, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely, but that doesn't... That doesn't way, how do you, no, 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 but like, how would you, like, That's would you do anything about it in that situation? I don't know what you can do. Like, Tell the board, like, but, then, I mean, but the board is... No, 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 I'm not talking, like, I don't know, like, the college board or something. Yeah, I, also, that, that sure. sounds... But like, I mean, could record them. That, iPhone voice memos. That sounds like a surefire way to get stabbed, though. Like, Depends who no, the person I, is. It could I be know a, that you... you I mean, just, it could be someone like you, Megan, that just decided like, to procrastinate uh, for the last three months. I think we could sit here and say, yes, we would do something about it, but realistically, you just... You, you wouldn't... I, like, I think you would at least try, but I do you think, think, like, wholeheartedly, do you think you would or you wouldn't? And that's I probably wouldn't, yeah, probably, but I've got to be fuck them. Like, that is what it is. Okay, like. then, fine, then. You get a DC and you don't get into uni next right. year. And the person gets an A from completely selling right. out. Okay. I'm do you? I'm I'm right. Right. You've been doing something about that. Yeah. No, but no. Then again, no, you wouldn't. Because you'd be like, well, I'm not good enough to do the work. He's paid for it. Yeah, fair enough. Like, yeah. would you think, if just fair failed, enough, he's found a loophole sort of thing. Right, if you failed, you've failed. He's been smart on me. That's the way I see it. I, I feel shit, but I was yeah, to, uh, probably you. So I don't know. I I think I probably would try and fight for it, but I'd be discreet about it. I I don't think I could. I don't think I could be like. At the end of the day, I'd, like part of like about ten percent of me would be thinking, "Fucking good on yourself," <laughs> you know. <laughs> well done for that. For the rest of the ninety percent, we fucking despise the person. It yeah. would it would probably be like one of those things where I'd bring it up like kind of vaguely with someone, and they'd be like, "Do you want to do anything about it?" And I'd be like. Nah, I don't want to be an <laughs> asshole. I don't want anything. But secretly, they're However, is there a chance I can get to you if I exploit this person? <laughs> they're like, maybe. I'm like, I'll think about it. <laughs> no, I don't think I can do it. Fair enough. Right. So, Megan, we're going to move on to the final game of the day. Oh, Jesus. It's called Quickfire. Jamie, would you like to please load up your phone? I'll explain. Oh, God. Right. So, basically, it's a Quickfire game on the board, as you can see already, are the times. Oh, no. I'm going to be so bad at this. No, no, no. no, no. It's fine. Don't worry. Right. So, well, let me explain the game first. There's a, there's a, there's a volume. Yeah. Well, oh, look. Not prepared for the podcast. I'm Never sorry. prepared. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, no, so, At least he's not a quitter. Yeah, shh, <laughs> I'm getting that out. Um, <laughs> big up. <laughs> yes, just I remember am. who invited you on this, Megan. I'm sorry, I want to come Just back. remember who gives you lifts around I'm Megan. Um, no, so, right, the game happens, so basically, 
At first, yeah, you get given a letter. It's like obviously A to Z, full alphabet, yeah. Okay. You can get given a letter. Say you get N. Now, once you get that letter, you have an option to re-roll. You only get one re-roll, okay? So okay. you need to decide if it's a good letter or not. Now, what the letter gets used for is so very fastly. Then there'll be a load of questions that come up. So it might be like toiletries, and with that, with that letter you begin. So say it was N, you've got to give toiletries begin with N. And every question you've got to give an answer beginning with that letter, okay? okay? But it's only one answer per question. Yes. Right, okay. Okay, and this it'll is be like alphabetical. Right, no, this so is great. Jamie, Jamie will tell you as well if he accepts it, because, like, see if you don't know yet, you can pass. Right, okay. Or if he thinks you've given an incorrect answer, he'll pass you. However, there'll be a time penalty, yeah? Oh, no. Now, there's ten questions in total, yeah? Okay. If you get five wrong, it automatically qualifies as a DNF. If you get a DNF, you get one retry from the start again to do it. Now, I've never had anyone fail two DNFs, okay? So, okay. don't be that. Now, <laughs> the best times overall are currently sitting at the top. Alba on 38.8 seconds with nine correct. Oh, my God. How do you do it? Uh, she's a keen listener of the podcast, shall we say. Oh, my God. Um, and the lowest is Duncan with two minutes and eight seconds and seven correct. That sounds like me. I could do that. No, 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 right. Now, what you want to aim for, Megan, is one minute three because oh, if you, you do that, done. if you do this, Megan, you will knock Jamie off the oh, top of the Jamie. leaderboard. All I'm going to say is, I am going to give you a penalty every time. <laughs> no, 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 Oh. Ten, come on, fifteen. <laughs> I know. I want a five on my way as well. Come on, here. Fifteen. I'm, I'm only got like three. Oh well, it's all good enough. Um, are you ready to hear your letter? Remember, it won't start until Jamie gives you a countdown. Okay. Okay, cool. Go. Right, your first letter is B. Oh God. Okay. B, I think, is a pretty good one. Oh, I'd say B is a good one. Really. I think B is okay. I could drop a right. B. Now, Jamie will show you like the board, so I'll show you the question. But also read out for the audience listening okay, at home. Cool. Okay. Do you think you're ready? No, but we'll do it anyway. Right. You want to bring this up or you all bless? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Three, two, one. Animal noises. Bah. The things you shout. Boo. Items in this room. Oh, beer. An embarrassing moment. Uh, being mint. I don't know. Yeah. That okay. always works. Bad habits. Uh, you can pass. Pass. Tapes of weather. Uh, bright. Sports equipment. Bat. Colours. Blue. Shit. <laughs> Things you're addicted to. Uh, Anything to get. Uh, pass. A uh, soup flavour. Beans. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I'm so close! <laughs> Damn it! You didn't pass. <laughs> Good luck, you. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fucking yes. Right, Jay, do you want to write on the board then? Shut up, pants. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, so you know. if she didn't pass that, she would have beaten you. Oh, oh, so it was. I one, can't believe oh, four, it. six. No, it was one minute five. Was it? Show my shot. Was it? Show my shot, mate. Uh, wait, oh seven, god! Seven, what correct. could I? What? What was it? Oh, that wait. Ha- no. With a H. <laughs> Yeah. Oh just shit! Right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, no, I've gone to trouble with this like when we first met. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm really extra. Megan, you failed me by oh, second. I can't believe it. But what was it? I was stuck on. I'm going to say is I thought you were honestly going to say broccoli soup. Yeah. yeah no, that's what I was oh, fucking God. thinking straight away. Like, no, it does. It puts you under pressure. It does put you under pressure though badly, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's so bad. Remember, I just need to. Um, I'm going to get the the parts you failed on just now. Right. Okay. When oh. I go through, it was, it was relatively funny, I'm not going to lie. Like, when oh. you said beans, I was like, mm, <laughs> can I give her that? <laughs> <laughs> so you go, alright, okay, this is tell me, but you go one minute five with um, the letter B. Oh, I can't You're me. so close, oh, Megan. I want, oh, right, you need to get me back on so I can do it again so I can be That's like, what oh, everybody that's... says, but it's never happening. Please, I am not moving please, from please, fucking please, third place. You are moving from that. I will yeah. get you off that. No, no, no. Oh, no. God damn. That will happen. I right. can't believe I got seven as well. That's pitiful. Uh, 
Right, no Premier League predictions, that's the ones we did last week, we'll follow <laughs> over from the um, international break, but firstly Megan, thank you for coming on, thank I you really for having me, it. we'll get you on at some point soon again I imagine, oh, thank god, because I'm, I'm not coming back with this cold again, I promise I'll sound better next time, <laughs> nah you're done good, anyway next week it'll just be me and Jamie and we'll have our domestic episode shall we say, we're going to get shit sorted out okay. Okay. Just, just be careful, guys. No, no, don't no, fight. No, no, don't no, fight. No, no, that's the end of that scrap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, until next time, I've been Liam White. I've been Jamie Allen. I've been Megan Babe. And we'll catch you next week. Goodbye.